I, I always want to see a smart meter as a device that gathers data based on real-time measurements of voltage and current in order to provide applications for, 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 for the consumers, for, for distribution network operators, and so on. You know? I think that a good example of this can be the profiles. We can say that any meter right now, any smart meter, can gather data every 50 minutes, 30 minutes. They are getting these energy registers. And with these energy registers, we send once a day to the health system of distribution network operators, and they are using them for mainly for billing applications. For me, I think that a future-proof smart meter will be able to somehow gather more data in order to, we can say, facilitate the adoption of new applications. What kind of applications we are talking about? We are talking about going beyond billing applications. We are talking, on one hand, about the consumers, because we want the consumers to have, a, we can say, a, a, a major involvement in the energy market. To do so, they will require that the smart meter send them, deliver them nearly real-time data so that they can participate. They, they need to know what are the energy exchanges in real time. On the other hand, we have the grid operators. I think that data coming from smart meters have a lot of capabilities in order to, we can say, enhance the way they operate the low voltage grid. What does this mean? This means that connectivity will be one of the key, key functionalities that are needed to be implemented in all smart meters if we want to have a future for this. Currently, data coming from smart meters, as I have said before, are very focused on billing purposes. Yeah. So we think that this data coming from smart meters can have much more applications. We always say go beyond billing the customer. So what is this kind of application? One with a sample can be, for instance, this data can be used for load forecasting. Another interesting application can be related to, for instance, how to improve the losses, you know, how to improve technical losses and commercial losses, non-technical losses. Finally, I think that we cannot forget outage management, you know, I think that grid operation, low voltage grid operation, can be really improved if we are able to manage this data. What does this mean? This means that connectivity, as I mentioned before, is going to be a crucial part of any smart meter if we want to have a platform for the future, ready for the future. Because above applications, we require more data and more frequently. If we want to go beyond billing applications, we must be sure that the smart meters will support, we will be able to generate more data and transmit them more frequently. Well, our future plans, we can say, we, we, we stress the idea since the beginning that our meters require, we can say, very good connectivity options. Uh, at the moment, we have a smart meter, as you can see here in our stand, we have a smart meter that integrate the last, we can say, very, very good power line communications interfaces, like um, in this case, Prime 1.4. Then we also have a very good uh, cellular interfaces like LTE, some of our meters have category one, so they are able to, to be always online for, for the distribution companies. So in this case, we are talking about how the data can be transmitted easily to the network operator, but also our meters already have interfaces for the whole area network, because we can not forget the consumer. Currently, we have the P1 interface for the Dutch market, and also we have the, the SIGV interface based on the smart energy profile for the UK market. So the future, what are our plans in the future? Basically, it's just to continue these connectivity uh, options that we are um, implementing in our smart meters. We are very happy to say that we will have more smart meters based on power line communications. We will enhance our prime technology to prime 1.4, even going beyond CNLK band. We will be able also to implement meters and more. We are very happy to say that in the first quarter of next year, we will be able to launch our first polyphase meters and more meter. And also, we will continue working with the interfaces for cellular communications. We think that these um, 4G, 5G technologies based on narrowband IoT, CATM devices are here to stay and to provide a very good connectivity solution for, for we can say, for, for, for distribution network operators. You know. So I will say that our near plan futures will be just to add as many connectivity options as possible in order to transmit as many data as possible that will allow all the stakeholders 
to go beyond billing applications.